What's up guys and welcome back to Dieter Plays. We've got an update here for you guys in Lumion Legacy that we want to talk about when it's coming and we got some more details. We're going to talk about the Gamma Gleamings. I think I know what they're all going to look like so I'm going to talk about that and I'm going to talk about more information that's been released and things that have been leaked with regards to this update. There's a lot of information here to know. So first thing we're going to look at here is on the Llama Train Studio Twitter page. It says the mastery update has been taking longer than and anticipated because we've been making improvements and tweaks to the mechanics it's getting closer we'd also like to announce that with the mastery system will be coming the new rare gleaming gamma gleaming so we already know about the alpha gleamings we've seen those we know what they look like i have a theory with how those uh, are colored and how these gamma gleamings are going to be colored but there's a lot of information that we've learned about this so one little piece of information that we can derive from this it sounds like lando also responded it says we're going to strive for the update next Next weekend but I won't promise it will be done by then so it sounds like they're gonna try to go for next weekend so that means no update coming this weekend like we thought it might be coming so it's not coming this weekend but it says if it's not done by then it will probably be due to ironing out some remaining bugs in its development so I think that's kind of what's been holding them back from doing this update with the mastery it's a lot of information and they don't want to release it unless it's ironed out and it is looking absolutely perfect and it's working the way that they want it to work so there's a lot for us to anticipate here in this update apparently the gamma gleamings part is probably linked to this mastery update and in fact if we look on the discord server we find some information from lando that actually confirms that lando even stated on the discord i want to leak more so he wants to leak more but it sounds like he can't yet i've been struggling lately so struggling been wanting to release a lot more hasn't been able to do that yet uh, but they're still trying to decide some information about the whole thing but they just want he, he makes a comment here is like I don't want you guys to think we aren't working on the game he wants you guys to know that they are working on the game and they're saying we're on it every day because a lot of people are probably wondering after I don't know five weeks of anticipating this update and several several weeks since we've actually had an update people are wondering like are the developers even really working on it so he wants to let you guys know and let you guys know for sure that they are working on it they're working on it hard and they're working on it every single day right here as far as gammas it says we'll leak gammas early next week so early next week we're going to actually get to take a look at some of these gammas now i'm thinking that i i kind of know what they look like so i want to show you what i think the starter gamma gleamings are gonna look like it says uh, but they're going to be showing right here it says i'm also going to show a lumion or two so it's going to show some gammas and then i think this refers to new lumions that are going to be coming so it'll be cool to get some spoilers some leaks about new lumions and also uh some gammas and see what those look like who knows exactly what they're going to look like uh all together i think just the developers at this point it says the big reason this update has been taking so long is that it, uh the amount of of UI construction and data management. So the fact that they're doing this mastery thing, there's a lot of information that they're starting to track and trying to keep that data and they're trying to manage that data and it also makes some changes to the UI. So they gotta figure out how to make it look really nice and also to where it actually works. Uh, it says the mastery system requires recording lots of new stats uh, that were not previously recorded. So the UI is working, uh, UI work is definitely the bigger of the two considering all that is added. So there's a lot that's going to be added i really like that the idea that they're going to be adding so much new stuff to the game it says i'll share a better description of the gammas when we leak a few pictures but the general idea behind gammas is that they'll be catchable in the wild so just like the alpha gleamings uh, uh then these gammas are going to be catchable in the wild that doesn't surprise me at all i figured as much it says and with the mastery program you will have to compete complete certain conditions before you can unlock the ability to encounter them so the gammas and the ability to catch the gammas and encounter them is linked to some of the abilities that you get as a part of the mastery program so that is really cool that they're tied together so as soon as the update comes out you're not gonna be able to get gammas right away you're gonna have to do some work and put in some grinding in order to get to a certain level in the mastery program in order so you can encounter those gleamings 
So that sort of gets me thinking, like, Gamma Gleamings, one little uh, estimation, one little uh, guess I'm going to have here and prediction about the Gamma Gleamings is that, okay, so the Alpha Gleamings, they're just rare. They're not necessarily good for battle. Uh, it's just that they're rare. They look cool. They look different. And, you know, the stats that you get, they could be good. They could be bad. You never really know. Now, Gammas, I'm guessing that Gammas are going to have some sort of, like, additional ability if you can have them uh, with your trainer, like depending on what the actual uh, trainer uh, mastery is, like say there's a mastery of a seer knight, and uh, and then so now you can encounter a gamma seer knight, and then once you have a gamma seer knight, then there's like an extra like boost in PvP. I would think that gammas not only going to look different, but I think they're going to have more uh, useful abilities. Like so, uh, that that's my guess, guys. I don't know for sure. These are predictions, uh, but let me know what you guys think about these predictions. I think that Gammas are actually going to be more useful in battle, so that's why they're going to be different from Alpha, where Alpha are, ge are generally just a little bit more rare. Of course, I'm pretty sure Gammas are going to be rare to encounter as well, probably even more rare than the Alphas. Now, it says right here, aside from the Gammas, the Mastery System will also be used as a trainer level system where you earn important items when you level up. If you remember PBB, you had all the dex number, the, like the dex number next to your name, so in Lumion Legacy, you'll have your trainer level next to your name uh, on the leaderboard. So, I'm not sure if we're going to be having the badges and the passes like we had, or if it's going to be a different thing, uh, or if it's just going to be a number that shows our trainer level, but you'll be able to go in there and see kind of the trainer levels, and I wonder if you you know a little bit better if you go into PvP and you're going to match up with somebody and you're going to battle them, you can see what their level is and kind of know what you're going up against, instead of, you know, maybe somebody who's not really trained and it's going to be a super easy battle, or somebody who's super duper hard and you're going to just get wrecked right away. So you kind of match up, I'm thinking there, with people who are more along your trainer level. Uh, it says... There will also be a UI page that shows your, uh, your level, experience to next level, and the reward you receive once you reach that level. So it's going to show you the experience points that you have, how much more you need to get to the next level, and then it's going to reward you, and it's going to show you what you get when you get to that next level. So it's kind of a reward system, kind of like things that we've seen like on Bubblegum Simulator and that kind of stuff. As far as some of the rewards that we're going to see, we know that maybe totems can be part of it. We can get items in the game. We can get potions. It says right here, Lumi, uh, Lumi Boost tokens will be an occasional reward for leveling trainer level. So that is really cool. Lumi Boost tokens are really useful. Uh, they can be helpful. And I think uh, he mentions that these Lumi Boost tokens are going to be useful in finding the Gammas the same way they are in finding the Alphas uh, as well. Some other things here as far as what we can get as free items. Uh, new toys. Toys, uh, feed, and totems will be made available in the ranch with the leveling up of your trainery and mastery level. So we know there's going to be some totems that we can get. So we can get like maybe two positive traits and one negative trait. So having two positive traits and then a useful negative trait, and like we can actually end up getting like some really, really good Lumians here as a part of this whole system and really, really building up our team as well. Okay, so far that's what we know about this coming update. We've got Lumi Boost, we've got prizes, we've got the mastery. The mastery is linked to the gammas. We're going to be able to find gammas. There's going to be a whole new UI. So if you guys are wondering why this update is taking so long, it's because they are adding so much to the game and they haven't even, I don't even know if they've been working on the third gym. So hopefully that update comes fairly soon after. But in the meantime, I think a lot of people are going to be spending time in there getting their teams ready, trying to get their gammas and getting their teams ready for a really, really beefy PvP. Because after this update, people are going to be getting their PvP teams trained really, really well and ready to go so next question here is what do you guys think the gammas are gonna look like so right here I'm gonna show you something I'm gonna show you what I think the gammas are gonna look like now this is again another prediction another theory who knows they could end up all just looking purple I don't know um, but then you know there's some uh, there's some alpha gleamings that already look purple so let me show you here what uh, they did with the colors for the alpha and let me show you what I think they're gonna do with the gamma so if I come over here to image and then go to adjustments and then hue and saturation Saturation for this Lumion. You can see right here, we've got here uh, on zero, this is what the normal look is. Now, when we move this over to about negative, about negative 70, 75, that area, you can start seeing 
on any of these particular uh, lumens all these once you start going to this number you can see the color of what the alpha looks like now this is going to the negative side now my theory is that what they're gonna do is for the gamma gleaming they're gonna go to the positive side of the color spectrum because they don't go all the way they they don't go opposite of the color spectrum this would be completely opposite of the color spectrum if they did that so if there was only one gleaming that's probably what it would look like but they don't go all the way they go part of the way there so this one ends up purple so I'm thinking if they go part of the way to the other side of the color spectrum this is what the gamma gleamings are gonna look like so guys this is my theory is that the gamma gleamings are gonna look like this so this is what I think the seer night is gonna look like as far as the gamma look so this is the tatab and this is what it looks like right now normally you can see if we uh, okay so that's brightness and contrast image we go adjustments and then hue and saturation so of course when we move this over here this is what the uh, alpha gleaming looks like uh, if we move it over to that side now I think this is what the gamma gleaming is going to look like so this is what I think the gamma tatab gleaming is going to look like the zulong trying to see what this one's gonna look like we're gonna go to adjustments hue and saturation and then as far as the hue we know that this is close to what the uh, the alpha gleaming looks like kind of goes into this direction so I'm thinking the gamma is gonna be in this direction and look a little bit like this so kind of light light green color so that actually looks pretty cool I kind of like that one you can see what I'm estimating they're going to look like so this one right here adjustments we're gonna go huge hue and saturation now we know this one the uh, um, let's see I think it gets a little bit more on the purple side there so it's not as far down that color spectrum I think for this one um, actually this one came over here to the right side I think for the alpha so maybe they actually go to the other side of the color spectrum for the gamma so I'm thinking whatever like color side side of the color spectrum they went to for the alpha the other side is gonna be gamma so I'm thinking this might be what the gamma himber looks like because I think the uh, alpha himber looks a little bit more on the purple side so it's the other side of the color spectrum so sometimes they're pl plus sometimes they're negative but I'm thinking that the gamma either way whatever the case is I think it's going to be the opposite side of the color spectrum so right here the Valkyrie we're gonna take a look at this one hue saturation uh, now over here is this the alpha side I'm not sure if that's what the alpha looks like it's either that or this I think it's this I think it's this side of the color spectrum is what the alpha actually looks like and then over here would be what I think the gamma is gonna look like so there's gonna be a lot of things look running around looking green or who knows they could just end up changing the color scheme completely different or who knows maybe all the gammas will have a same color like maybe all of them are gonna be like silver colored or uh, or gonna have like purple with like a gray outline or who knows exactly what they're gonna look like but this is what my predictions actually are so that update it sounds like they're 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 thriving for uh, for next weekend so hopefully next weekend we'll see this update we'll be able to cover it uh, but it says if it's not done by then uh, it's probably due to bugs and hopefully if it's not going to be done by then they will let us know probably sooner rather than later uh, so we can kind of know what to anticipate the following week anyways that's it right now guys for the updates in Lumi legacy coming this next weekend hopefully crossing your fingers guys looks like a lot I'm really looking forward to it these gamma gleamings and this master system is going to be awesome if you're new here would love to have you subscribe and hit that notification bell thank you so much for watching we'll talk to you guys later